User Management Armin Sharierian User Management When you start up Kali, you have the root user in place. Unlike other Linux distributions, you won't be asked to create another user. This is because much of what you may be doing in Kali will require super user, root, permissions. As a result, there's no reason to create another user, even though it's not good practice to stay logged in as the root user. The expectation is that someone using Kali probably knows enough of what they are doing that they wouldn't be as likely to shoot themselves in the foot with the root permissions. However, it is still possible to add and otherwise manage users in Kali, just as it is with other distributions. If you want to create a user, you can just use the userad command. You might also use it as Both accomplish the same goal. When you are creating users, it's useful to understand some of the characteristics of users. Each user should have a home directory, a shell, a username, and a group at a minimum. If I want to add my common username, for instance, I would use user ad slash home slash kilroy s slash bin slash bash g users m kilroy. The parameters given specify the home directory. The shell the user should execute when logging in interactively, and the default group. The m specified indicates that user ad should create the home directory. This will also populate the home directory with the skeleton files needed for interactive logins. In the case of the group ID specified, userid requires that the group exist. If you want your user to have its own group, you can use groupad to create a new group. And then use userid to create the user that belongs to the new group. If you want to, Add your user to multiple groups, you can edit the slash etc slash group file and add your user to the end of each group line you want your user to be a member of. To pick up any permissions associated with those groups access to files, for example, you need to log out and log back in again. That will pick up the changes to your user, including the New Groups Once you have created the user, you should set a password. That's done using the Password command. If you are root and want to change another user's password, you Use password Kilroy in the case of the user created in the preceding example. If you just Use password without a username, you are going to change your own password. Shells. The common default shell used is the born again shell, bash. However, other shells can be used. If you are feeling adventurous, you could look at other shells like zsh, fish, csh, or ksh. A shell like zsh offers the possibility of a lot of customization using features, including plugins. If you want to permanently change your shell, you can either edit slash etc slash password or just use chsh and have your shell changed for you.